Chicago. Could this be our biggest failure? Could this be a repeat championship? Could this be our last hurrah? It is a showdown against the Montreal Canadiens in the 2028 Stanley Cup Final. That is what we can say with certainty. We are back in... As you well are, I'm sure you're well aware of, we are looking to defend our championship. It's been kind of crazy how this team's come together. I mean, obviously, without, you know, super heavy restrictions on this team, you know, we've been able to set it up very, very well. Uh, you know, we take those restrictions off. This team would look even better in terms of wheeling and dealing and cap management. And it already looks as good as it does. This is the squad as it was in that series clincher in the Western Conference Final, and it is exactly how we will kick off this particular series. Again, the top six, fantastic. The bottom six, it's been tumultuous, but we're going to roll with what we see there, including the, the man, the myth, the legend one, Josh Hull. And of course, defensively, I mean, we've also had some issues having to kind of mix and match a little bit, changing who the third pair defender happened to be. And of course, Drew Camesso, you know, missed out on a couple of opportunities. And Mil Fahey's desperate to end up in this finals series. That said, we have been linked with Montreal from season one. And we know why. They were the ones to have ended up with Connor Bedard when we did not. And simply put, again, how better suited could this possibly be to play them yet again? Oh, and know that we have to go through Bedard. My goodness, their lines. Cole Caulfield, who is absolutely insane. I mean, aside from his inability to body check and block shots, everything else has just skyrocketed. He is centered, of course, by Kirby Dock on the right. Slavkovsky is there. One goal, 11 assists. Second line, Riley Kidney, who, again, I was shocked, like just absolutely skyrocketed. And overall, he is centered, of course, by Captain Nick Suzuki. And on the right is the previously mentioned Connor Bedard, perhaps a future Anaheim Duck. God damn. Can't wait to see how that lottery shakes out on May 8th. Third line, Emil Heineman is there, centered by Elliot Let Italian. I said it about as poorly as I possibly could. Did I do good? I said it as poorly as I could with it still being close. If you can come up with a way to say it worse, but still have it kind of be close, let me know in the comments. Boris Volkov, also there. And then, of course, we get to Vasily Pold Colson, Christian Dvorak, and Joshua on the fourth line. <laughs> it's an absurd team. I have no idea how the hell they're affording it. And let's be honest, they're about to not. This is this is it for them. Like they are screwed financially. Oh my god. This, after this year, and especially after next year, when Caulfield's gonna get a three, four million dollar raise. Defensively, it is one Jordan Harris and Justin Barron, who we know missed an entire season last year because of their cap issues, shows up this year, sets the world on fire, making 10 million bucks. The second pair, Caden Gooley and uh, <laughs> Logan, cancel culture doesn't exist, Mayu. And a third pair of Noah Hannafin with Nikita Zadorov, the Calgary duo there. Their goaltender, we already know. Uh, the Umaine legend, former Mike Richter Award winner for NCAA Goalie of the Year, now a Jennings winner at the NHL level, a future starter of the Boston Bruins, Jeremy Swayman, who has been phenomenal in the playoffs for them. Of course he has. It's Jeremy frickin' Swayman. Uh, they have Brett Leeson, Georgie Merkeloff, and Valtteri Puistinen as their scratches. Merkeloff with the Boston Bruins organization as well. Uh, was named to the rookie team. This year, the AHL rookie team was Merkeloff. Got to talk about the Bruins a little bit when it's a series between these two teams, don't I? Let's find out how this is going to go, huh? Bell Center, game one, Centre de Belle. It is game number one, four wins away 
from potentially, well, I mean, if we do get the four wins, a successful title defense. First period, 1-0 Chicago, A-D-B, our captain, who apparently, I don't think we'll mention this on a, a podcast anytime soon, apparently might not want to re-sign with Ottawa, but Ottawa plans on qualifying him regardless for like nine million bucks, but maybe they'll trade him, maybe they won't, so, oof. Sense fans, I hope he stays. Claude Giroux set a career high in goals. You guys got Chikorin. For the love of God, do not lose that guy. If, if you do, um, shoot Pierre Dorian out of a cannon all the way to Columbus. Second period. Oof, there we go. Panayi, Fantilli, Cole Caulfield. Is able to get one back. We know we're not going to be able to keep him off the score sheet for long. We are up by two. Heading into the third period. Of course, crazy things have happened before. Power play goal. Lukovic, who has had an incredible postseason. It's 4-1. We waste another power play chance, but we're halfway through the third period. We have dominated them in terms of shots. Nearly doubled them up. Riley Kidney scores. Make it 4-2. Two minutes left. And game number one goes to the good guys as Rasmus Sandin caps it off with an empty netter. A 1-0 series lead for your Chicago Blackhawks. That scares me, to be honest. The home team losing trend. Let's see if it's a thing. We go up 2-0 in this series. I would be shocked if we win Game 3, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. No changes to be made. It is Game number 2. First period, 1-0 Montreal. Riley Kidney again. This time on the power play as they nearly doubled us up in shots. Second period, 2-0 Montreal and deja vu. Riley Kidney does it again. Still looking for our first goal heading into the third period. I might not have to be all that concerned about the home team losing trend heading home for games three and four. As Montreal is shutting us down. Jeremy Swayman stopping pucks left and right. Been a couple minutes since we've had a shot. Nikita Zadorov ends this game. A 3-0 victory. A 33-save shutout for Jeremy Swayman. And yeah, we don't have to worry about that home team trend now, do we? We are tied at one apiece. As much as we could make changes, we won't. We'll chalk it up as a bad game. Game number three, home ice. Can we get it done? First period, 2-1 Chicago. They scored the opening goal with Volkov, but Vanainen and Panayi back in the lineup and crushing it right now. Second period, goalless. We have the edge and shots again, but we have the lead heading into the third period a crucial game 3 vinainen scores again oh my goodness it'd be vinainen wouldn't it i've been saying vinainen the whole time but i keep looking at his name i'm like that's not right it's just not right it, it might be though i don't know what is right it's right is that we have a 3-1 victory in game number 3 and a 2 to 1 series lead. What a performance from one Drew Camesso. A huge opportunity for him. Healthy at the moment, knock on wood. Gets a chance to try and do what, again, he didn't get the opportunity to do last year, and that is backstop us all the way to a cup. And guys, we're going to game number four. There's no reason to drag this out. To try and make it more dramatic, the drama speaks for itself. Game four, first period, and a goal apiece effort. Nick Suzuki scores a minute 51 into the game. Josh Hull able to get it back. Shots were a bit lower on both sides, too. Second period, goal apiece. Panayi, Caulfield. <laughs> Mirror images of one another in terms of attributes. We are tied. The shots are nearly even. We go to the third. Will Montreal tie this series up at 2-2? Or will we take a 3-1 series lead? Riley Kidney, he has been insane. 
A lead for the Habs halfway through the period. Power play Montreal. We kill it off. Can we find the back of the net or will the Habs tie this series? We're running out of time and we do as Riley Kidney's goal stands as the winner. Montreal ties it. It's a best of three. Ooh, and Shimmick is out. Well, we have an obvious replacement for him in Della Rivera, but man, we know for the most part, he and Sandine Pelica have played so, so well together. Now, admittedly, something I've asked for, among a litany of other things, um, in the future is for us to have the ability to really sort these playoff stats per series. I'd love to know on a series-by-series -series basis kind of how people have done. I mean, Hall obviously has some AHL stats. I don't think there's really too much else we can do about this lineup. I really don't. I still wonder about that second pair, but there's really nothing I can do. At this stage, the team is the team. It really, really is. We will go best lines just to see if it changes anything. Wow, even going best lines does put Maverick Bork on the top line over Fantilli. It was a little bit surprising to me. That's the team. Our squad is our squad, pretty much. A crucial fifth game of this series in Montreal. Here we go. First period, 2-1 Chicago. Power play goals, two minutes apart, canceling one out and one another out. Suzuki and Lukowicz, Rasmus Sandin restores the lead, or actually gives us the lead for the very first time in game five. Second period, Montreal ties it. The inverse, they score twice. Bedard and Caulfield, Paul Ludwinski on the board. They have 10 more shots, but we are tied at three. Here we go. And a goal early, shorthanded, 13 seconds in. His second of the game, Paul Ludwinski. Speaking of seconds of the game, my goodness. Bedard scored 21 seconds later. Maverick Bork restores the lead. The offenses are breaking out. Who does that benefit more is the question. Four minutes to go in game number five. Can we hold on? We can. Maverick Bork and company get it done. And we are one win away from going back to back as we go home to Chicago. Look at Rasmus Sandin. What a freaking trade that was, huh? This is it. This is it right here. This is the time. ADB, I'm going to look at you right in the eyes. Oh, captain, my captain. This is the time. Lead the way. Get it done. We thought you'd be here for one season. But no, you were the one worth keeping. Maverick Bork, you stole that 1C spot away from Fantilli. But Fantilli's still amazing. Of course he is, Casper Haltonen. Yes, I drafted you because I went to a hockey game when I was in Helsinki and you played for the team. Shout out to Ifko. Uh, I don't care. You're still great. Paul Ludwinski, you were great last year. You're heating up. Love to see it. Josh Hall, the man, the myth, the legend, the greatest low lead of all time, maybe? Ness, people wondering, why are we going to hold on to you? This is why. Lucas Reichel, one of the few... <laughs> remaining people that we started with as insane as it is Vesta Reinen's clutch Vanainen's insane Luka which is insane all of these defenders Seth Jones trying to prove all the people right who said you have great leadership qualities maybe you do in a virtual world and Drew Camesso what would a cup run be without a ceremonial move that could Cause people to say we jinxed you as we give you what is my starter helmet because the second helmet option is much better. Drew Camesso. It's time. It was Varlamov last year. It's Drew Camesso's time. 
First period, goalless. Shots were close. Second period, opening goal, Adam Fantilli. 20 minutes away. The cup is in the building. The most recent name etched on it. Our own Vaninen makes it two. Ten minutes away. Can we hold on? Can we get it done? Montreal is running out of time. We had some moments previously we're jumping in too early. Might have cost us in the past, but it is time to find out if we can hold on. If we can do this and get the win, true broadcast is the only way to go. How could you go with any other camera angle? Moments away. Moments. From perhaps going back to back two minutes away. You in the corner cuts back. Puck dumped in. Della Rovere is there. Makes his way out, gets it to Venine and on the far side. Tried to walk right through the middle. Nowhere to go. Pulled Colson out here. It's the fourth line for the Habs. Up ahead, it's Christian Dvorak making moves. Took an elbow, no call. ADB. Trying to skate through. Benign turns it over. Good poke check there. Now it's Christian Dvorak. Avoids the pressure. Slap shot. Wired one wide. As Ness able to recover the loose puck. He has space. Ness looking. Shoot save by Swayman. Gooley up the boards. 105 on the clock. Joshua will dump it in. No, it takes a weird bounce. And goes out of play. You have to wonder if Swayman will start in goal. I presume he will. He was about to head to the bench. This cutscene would be a lot cooler if they made the fans like excited to see the cup there. <laughs> Swayman is out. The extra attacker on for Montreal. Sandine to Reichel. Sandine draws a call with 101 to go. Cole Caulfield to the box. Their most dangerous weapon. G G E A. One oh one to go. Power play opportunity. Face off won by Montreal. Hannafin has to circle through. Gets it to Harris. Now up to Italian. Takes the hit. Volkov shot block. Second chance scores. Boris Volkov brings Montreal to within one. Forty nine seconds to play. Face off again, won by Montreal. Heineman circles back. Swayman heads to the bench. Doc recovers the loose puck. It's five on five. Does Doc able to dump this one in? Vorobioff held up down low. Still fighting for the puck. Fantilli's with them. Loose puck in the corner. It's Connor Bedard. Centering feed. Heineman shot. Paddled away by Camesso. 24 seconds. Lukowicz having trouble. Gets it out of the zone. Adam Fantilli. Empty net. Misses wide. 16 seconds. Barron takes the hit but gets it to Gooley. Fed up ahead for Doc. Now Connor Bedard. Can't get the shot off. Doc scores. <laughs> Kirby Duck! Montreal does it again! They have tied this game with two short-handed goals! 
And it's the former hot Kirby Doc to tie it. Tie up on the draw. Hannafin loses it. Volkov takes a hit. Maverick Bork sends it across, and we go to overtime in game number six. We were two minutes away, and we couldn't hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. It's not over yet. Fantilli against Volkov. We get the opening draw. Fantilli, there's another lead call. Fantilli couldn't get the shot away. It's going to be five on three for 54 seconds. Interference on Boris Volkov as he joins Caulfield in the box. Kirby Doc will be out to take the draw. As Volkov actually took the face off against Lukowicz and... Regardless, now it's five on three. Lukowicz on the draw. As opposed to Fantilli, he's not picking a grip. Tries to win it back. Suzuki able to dump it. Clearly those power play settings are a little bit off. That's good to know. Roby off. Fantilli for Lukowicz. Took too much time. Good hit. Suzuki clears again. Robioff. Fantilli to Vaninen. Fantilli shot glove save Swayman. <sighs> A rough go of it on this power play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face off. Face off again for Lukowicz. He refuses to pick a grip, I'm guessing because of a low face off rating. Lukowicz couldn't get the shot off. Lukowicz short side. Ran out of room. Benign and across. Vrobi off shot to the chest of Swayman. <sighs> Not much time left in the five on three. Caulfield 15 seconds away, perhaps. Getting back on the ice. Off the draw, Lukowicz, feed, haul it deflected wide. Here's Vorobi off. Trying to hold it, he couldn't. Mayu clears. <sighs> Minute and five on a power play. Here's Fantilli. Weaving his way through, runs into trouble. Mayu clears it. Maybe the worst power play of all time. Varobi off up the middle. Panayi to Maverick Bork. Bork circles forehand. Feeds. Hull shot blocked. Ness turnaround shot. Couldn't get it on net. And Suzuki clears. 40 seconds to go. Hull for Varobi off. Tape to tape. It's Panayi. Panayi feeds. Ness couldn't hold it. As Harris... Able to send that puck out. One more breakout. Varobi off the board. Quickly across for Ness. Ness looking. Can't hold it. Battling with Harris down low. Kicked out. Open side. Hannafin off the glass. But it stays in. Montreal not only survives. They thrive. Here's Josh Hull. Hull looking, weave, centering, feed, picked off by Harris. Bedard to Doc. Bedard looking, save, and Comesso covers. Connor Bedard nearly sending us to game seven. Oh boy. Face off one by Bork. Seth Jones for Lukowicz. Lukowicz to brink it. Shot save. Lose puck. ADB can't sweep it home. Suzuki able to dig it out. Connor Bedard dumps that one around. Jones held up. Suzuki back to the point. Harris, Suzuki, Bedard. Again, good movement from the Habs. 
Riley Kidney looking. Barron poked away. Harris blocked. Loose puck. Suzuki fires wide. Bedard looking saved by Camesso. Incredible chances for the Habs. They scored two shorthanded to get here. <sighs> Face off one. Sandine. Jones, his pass along goes a little bit wide of its intended target. Free possession for Montreal. Good four checking pressure. Puck one back. Battled along the wall. Who's going to come up with it? The answer is Montreal. Bucks in across for Heineman. Heineman trying to weave through. What a move by Emil Heineman. Italian looking broken up. Still fighting for it. Puck kicks out to Ness. Scary moments for Chicago. Beninen takes the hit from Heineman. Gooley loses it to Jones. Scrambles for the puck. Pick up by Volkov. He takes the hit. Puck dumped in. Seth Jones, great move to weave through. Vaninen will dump it in. That's number 19 in team history right there. Cole Caulfield. Good defense there. Halton and around the back for Vorobioff. Up ahead, Casper Halton in, trying to find his way through, still fighting for it. Mayu is there to recover. Kirby Dock. Good hands to get to the wall. Held up. Lashunov. Now it's Reichel. He dumps it in. A chase. Caulfield held up. Puck kicked around. Thrown on. Blocker save. Halton and tries to tuck it. Swayman makes the save and finds that loose puck. Got to get that top line out there. A very tired top line out there for the Habs. Doc on the draw. And he wins it clean. Quick out for Montreal. Here's Cole Caulfield. Caulfield looking. Caulfield space shooting save. Camesso. <sighs> Some rough defense to say the least. And this is the time we should have it. Oh yeah, we're calling that time out. Because <laughs> we need those top lines out there. Now is not the time. I mean, fourth line's played well this postseason. Now is not the time to trust them. That said, their fourth line's out with Christian Dvorak. Face off. Dvorak wins it. Gooley trouble to bring it. Up ahead for Lukowicz. He's a little bit slow. Lukowicz has to cut back. Looking shot to flex high and wide. Oh, the speed for Lukowicz just not there. Old Coles in, avoids the hit from Seth Jones, throws one on, and Camesso has to squeeze the pads to keep it out. Vastly pulled Coles and bringing it back to the 80s, just throwing a slap shot on, and it almost found its way home. Five minutes into this overtime. Seth Jones nearly turns it over. Sandine. Gonna use that skating ability, and he does. Jones looking. Fed up ahead for Debrankit, loses it to Mayu. Juan Dvorak trying to get something going. Joshua still fighting for it. Feed pulled. Colson tried the backhand and scooped out of the air by Drew Camesso. Both goaltenders making stops. Fantilli versus Doc on the draw. Fantilli wins it. Barobioff, the pass for Lashunov. Now over to Fantilli. He's got space to work with. Adam Fantilli, centering feed picked off by Slavkovsky. Slavkovsky, weaving his way through trouble here. Slavkovsky along the board, sends it down low for Doc. Caulfield all the way to the point. Baron Harris nearly picked off. Baron takes the hit. Vaninen up ahead for Ness. Trying to bide some time. Ness still in control. Chris Ness not able to hold on to it. Contact. Verobi off. Tried to go back to Ness. It goes off a skate. All the way back to the Chicago zone. 
Lashoon off trouble. Puck turned over. Caulfield. Loose puck in the slot. Reichel wins the race. Hull. Thought he might feed it up along. The hesitation from the rookie. Here's Suzuki. Suzuki still fighting. Lashunov gets that loose puck. Reichel dumps that in. The door off loses it to Casper Halton and Halton into Hall can't get the shot off. Connor Bedard or Nick Suzuki weaves through Suzuki shot save Camesso. An absurd move from the captain as Hall takes a hard hit. Noah Hannafin battling with Casper Halton in. He comes up with it. Trouble for Hannafin. Halton in. Looking to find a way through. Can't hold it. Connor Bedard has the breakaway speed. Windmills to the middle. Takes the hit. Kidney kicks it up the boards. Panayi for Della Rivera. The lower lines are out. They have to be stamina wise. Pelica for Vesterinen. Back to Della Rivera. Throws one on, but it's wide. Kidney along the wall. Gets it to Gooley. Connor Bedard again. Does he still have the speed? Is he too tired? Here goes Bedard. Poked away. Heinemann centering feed. Puck off target. Della Rivera having trouble. Back to the point. Bedard. Trouble again. Back to the point one more time. Gooley. Heinemann. Lay Italian broken up. Heinemann backhand glove save. Drew Camesso. Jones as the puck ends up on net. Camesso covers. The insanity continues in game number six. Twelve minutes left in the overtime. Face off won by Montreal. Gooley for Volkov. Back for Gooley. Heinemann to Volkov. Volkov looking couldn't pick the corner. As Drew Camasso glove side save yet again. The face off wins for Montreal, the difference maker right now. And another win. Mayuta Gouli all the way across Volkov, back to the point. Gouli shot save, Camasso. The deflection bit in front. A 2-0 lead with two minutes left has led to this. Face-off win. Chicago having trouble. Here's Emil Heinemann. Save, rebound. Sandine was there. Debrinket has it. Alex Debrinket, the captain. Tried to make the move to the middle. Here's Maverick Bork. Couldn't get the backhand pass. In Gouli for Boris Volkov. Fed along and Seth Jones. How's that for leadership? A trip and fall on Seth Jones. Might that be the opening Montreal needs? It's Ness and Fantilli. And of course, the wrong man's taking the draw. GG's. And if it, what a pick off by Fantilli, though. And he'll dump it out. I don't want you to dump it out. I want you to go for it. Centering feed. Sandine Pelica for Fantilli. A little bit of trouble. Tried to go to Ness who gets destroyed. Suzuki. Kidney. Doc. Save. Camesso. On the short side. And you know... Yeah, maybe, maybe just maybe <laughs> it can be a little bit defensive there, huh? Oh my God. What are the uh, coaching strategy? Yeah, the coaching strategy adjustments are up there. It'll handle it itself. I need to change those lines so that we just have a chance to win a face off. My God. Nice to know that stupid ass glitch is still in there. Jesus. That's not what we wanted. Edit strategies, thank you. Face-off formation, edit face-off positions. Slot player, please, thank you very much. Power play two, face-off formation. All right, Maverick Bork is the guy there. 
Four man power play, face off formation. So it's literally just the primaries? Nope, okay, it's that one as well. So stupid. And then the PK. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. Thank you very much. Oh my god. All right, good. Ludwinski is on that one. Orc is on that one. I would hope this. I would hope the one forward. Oh god, it has Ness taking draws. Why? It cannot be him. It cannot be. But I guess it is. All right. Well, hey, we tried. We tried as much as we could. <sighs> Another face off for Doc. Ludwinski against him. Ludwinski gets the win to the open corner. Nobody there. Kidney steps in. Good save, Camesso. I thought for sure that was it. I thought for sure that was it. The AI on these strategy settings don't appear to be doing too much. Face off one by Doc. Hannafin over. Save, Camesso. On the chance by Kidney. Della Rivera able to bank it off the glass and clears. A bit of a chase there from Ludwinski. Boys, boys, boys. Let's, let's calm the hell down here. Centering feed. Kidney looking blocked. Thank God. Suzuki. Suzuki. Save Camesso. He was able to just walk in. Oh, my God. <sighs> Face off one, Sandine for Varobi off, he clears. 50 seconds to go. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Chicago's got Good contact there. Here's Venina centering feed stopped by Swayman. Maverick Bork. So close, yet so far. Face off one, Sandin Pelica to Vorobioff. Vorobioff, contact, no call. It's Ness centering feed, shot stopped by Swayman. Adam Fantilli. Both goaltenders have played out of their minds. Or can't win the draw. For whatever reason, a defender just stepped up. Move to the middle, loose puck. Back to the point for Slavkovsky. Knocked loose, Della Rivera clears. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Beautiful feed up ahead from Montreal again, final few moments of this power play into the middle, puck knocked out to the half wall. Caulfield held up, Maverick Bork over there. Caulfield gets it back, gets it to Bedard. Loose puck down low. Jones about ready to head out of the box. Lay Italian backhand on. Camesso makes the save. And we survive. Somehow. Some way. We survive. Scramble for the puck. Scramble. Shot glove save. Camesso. Kidney takes the hit. Sandine for Lukowicz. I don't know why it's not automatically adjusting these settings. We'll do it for him. Centering feed. Sandine shot it just wide. Jones for Lukowicz. Back to Jones. Bork shot wide again. Oh my God. Montreal gets a bit of a chance. Slap shot on and hits Camesso. In an odd spot for him to try to find any space. And normally when we have that setting on, I think they broke it this year. Oh, man. Old Coles in to Dvorak. Space for Dvorak. Still has it. Joshua, that shot's blocked. Wah across, save Camesso. 
I genuinely cannot believe the effort of both of these goaltenders. Dvorak's back out for them. Wins the draw. Old Colson shot it wide. Battled on. Waugh had a chance. Took him too long to get him to the forehand. I can't believe how long this has gone. This is insanity. It's absolute insanity. Fantilli wins the draw to Ness. Della Rivera up ahead for Vaninen. Into the zone. Vaninen. Can't hold it. Mayu avoids the hit. Gooley looking to go right down Main Street. Dock on the outside. Around the back. Loose puck. Centering feed. Slavkovsky can't hold it. It's Adam Fantilli. Fantilli gets a back centering feed. Mayu was there. As Ness trying to battle. Caulfield gets it up ahead at the flex. Here's Della Rivera. He'll dump it in. Mayu avoids the hit. Turns it over to Casper Halton and can't get a shot off. It's Caulfield. Move to the middle, takes the hit. Reichel. Trouble for Reichel, gets away from it. Up ahead for Josh Hull. Hull over the line, throws one on, gloved easily by Swayman. We'll have a face off. Insanity. Face off one again by Montreal's third line center. Held up down the wall. Looking. Bork can't get the shot off. Maybe it was a pass to the far side. I'm not sure. Nice job on the poke check. Brinka takes it to the corner. Roby off for Bork. Lashoon off. High pressure from the Habs. What a feed. Debrinkit can't get the shot off, man. Oh, my God. Especially with Snappy. Battled on by Bork. Debrinkit. Luka with shot save. Swayman. The fourth line's going to have to be out. The fourth line's been great. Face off one. Riley Kidney. Two Connor Bedard. Suzuki broken up. Trouble. Vesta Reinen gets it away to Lodwinski who turns it over, but it's at least out of the zone. Suzuki. Still fighting. Nick Suzuki. Kidney. Suzuki save. Montreal still in the zone. Hannafin does the door off. Suzuki blocked. Loose puck, Bedard, over gloves! <laughs> Drew Camisso! Oh my goodness, Drew frickin' Camisso. Jesus. Face off one. Della Rivera to Sandine Pelica. Here's Vaninen over the line. Vaninen throws one on, kicked away by Swayman. Fantilli from an odd angle. Couldn't get it on net. Here's Kidney making the move. Riley Kidney, great poke check. Benign with trouble. Ness there with him. Kidney comes up with it. Connor Bedard tried to find Suzuki. Della Rivera made the play. Benign has to dump that one in. Justin Barron down the middle to Josh Waugh. Wah, wow, in space, save. Oh my God, Camesso kept that out too. I thought we'd get a little bit more, so you know, do the line change, and then man, they gave him way, way too much space. I had other stuff to record today. That's not happening now. Face off one by the Habs. Baron blocked. Sandine up ahead for Reichel. He dumps it in. 
No! <laughs> That's so much space! I can't believe that just happened. Contact. Sandine takes it away. Rasmus Sandine back to Reichel. This time he tries to center it and turns it over to Pold Colson. He'll dump it in in return. We are 15 minutes into this overtime. Seth Jones. Trouble. Trouble. Gets it to Sandine. Up ahead for Hull. Loses it. Jones looking to step up with Pold Colson. Puck goes back. Sandine there to recover. Over to Jones. Haltonen. Casper Haltonen separated from the puck. Hall gives chase. Loose puck recovered. Haltonen shot. Swayman covers. I'm in a good job by the third line to get a no zone draw. Oh, man. Big face off here. First lines out for both teams. It's a win. Lashunov. Barobioff. Bork. Shot. Save. Swayman. <sighs> I can't believe that this, this is even having to happen. Lukowicz. Over. Barobioff. Shot. Glove. Save. Swayman. He plays it out. Mayu loses the puck. Caulfield has it poked away. Mayu again, trouble. Nobody home. Foot race for it. Debrinkit has it. Debrinkit has it again. Shot saved, Swayman. What a chance for the captain. Their first line still out. A fresher third or fourth line for us with Ludwinski. Tie up. Montreal has it. It's a door off the handles. Over to Cole Caulfield. Caulfield looking. Shot five hole. Camesso makes the save. <sighs> what choice do we have but to keep the fresh legs out there? <sighs> Winsky another face off. Can't win it. Doc's been insane. Caulfield, that one's blocked. Slavkovsky held up by Ludwinski. Double team pressure. Slavkovsky still hulking it out in the corner. Feed. Caulfield blocked. Panayi dropped down to the ice. Vorobioff has it. Vorobioff looking. Vorobioff shot. Save. Swayman. To bring it to Ludwinski. Trouble for Panayi. Can't get the shot off. Good poke check there, though. Thought that was to bring it. It's not. People told me to change his number. The door off. To Corby Doc. Heineman saved. And now he turns it over. Doc. Volkov. Glove. Save. Camesso. Denies Volkov his second of the game. A critical draw here. Oh my god. Face off one again by the Habs. Hannafin is the door off. Volk off. It's Hannafin's, but it's out of the zone. The door off over. Huge hit there by Jones. Sandine trouble. Scrum in the corner. Sandine has it. Lukowicz for Maverick Bork. Maverick Bork looking. Makes a move. Tried to throw it on. It was interrupted. Bork still gives chase. Hannafin now. Two and a half to go. Jones wins it back. Bork. Maverick Bork looking. Sandine to Bork. Bork. Lukowicz couldn't get it through. Hannafin and Lukowicz battling. Hannafin will win it. He had the agility. Bouncing puck. Line changes for both teams as Hannafin dumps it in. Sandine turns it over. Suzuki. Now Bedard. Picked off by Bork. Here's Vaninen. Looking. Circles back forehand. Tried to get it on. Missed. As Ness is held up and interference is called. Chicago goes to the power play with Justin Barron. 
in the box. Unbelievable. Could this be it? Oh, here's a gift. The power play in overtime. If you can figure this out and execute just one time. Beninen for Lukovic. Lukovic looking shot blocked. As the boys just kind of gave up on it. It's got to be because of that 1 4, right? Got to be. Turned over nearly. Finally, space. Here's Fantilli. Fantilli. Vorobioff tried to get it over. Still scrubbing for it. Swayman covers. Near disaster. We have the boys set up as aggressive as we can make them. Dvorak v. Fantilli. Dvorak wins it. Mayu up ahead for Suzuki. He'll dump it. Montreal's face-off dominance has been impressive. Robioff, it's Fantilli. Adam Fantilli poked away. Gets it back. I don't know why the boys aren't being more aggressive. Hall, it's not offside. Lukowicz, Vorobioff saved by Swayman. I guess that 1-3-1 is just not really working for us, huh? What else would have caused them to not uh, bother to be aggressive there? Face off again, one by Montreal. The door off, having trouble clearing. And he'll send it all the way out. One minute to go in this overtime. Roby off to Ness. Now up ahead, it's Maverick Bork. Bork looking. Can't hold it. Montreal clears. Robioff for Hull. Now it's a nasty lazy pass. Montreal clears again. This has been a disaster. Hull for Ness. And I tried to throw it on. 22 just missed it. That was Maverick Bork. Oh no. 16 seconds to go. Miscommunication. Still struggling to recover the puck. Montreal still has it. One in front. Volkov just missed wide. Montreal again. Shot to flex and we go to double overtime. A disastrous power play to say the least. When is it not with us? A few more moments of power play time. Face off one. Hull up ahead. Shot on. Saved by Swayman. Very efficient to get a quick face off before the power play expires. Oh, man. Face off one by Montreal. We are back to five on five. Harris Stickliff by Maverick Bork. Bork looking, makes the move, shot, it deflected. I think it was Baron that just got a stick in on the play. Oh, man. Bork, another big face off. Puck ends up on Swayman. Harris, trouble. Baron has it. Trouble, Doc, save, loose puck, bouncing around, what a stop. Oh my god, I'm just desperately trying to get our settings back to where they were. I don't know why the AI is not auto-adjusting like they're supposed to. Oh god, that was the worst time to pause. Weak boys, for Drew Camesso. For Drew frickin' Camesso, can we do something here? Move to the outside, Bork looking, shot saved by Swayman Lukowicz. They able to get that shot away. A big draw looming here 
in Sanity, and there might still be a game seven. Face off one by Montreal. I'm so tired of saying that, my God. Over the line. Looking back. Picked off by Ness. He loses it as he tried to turn. Harris for Barron. Riley Kidney avoids one. Kidney still looking. Takes the hit from behind. Harris to Suzuki. Contact. The puck goes wide. Ness. Fantilli gets it up ahead for Vanine, and he can't hold it. Lashunov recovers a loose puck. Here goes the defender, Lashunov. Over the line. Fires one on. Stopped by Swayman. Puck nearly recovered. Indeed it is. Center feet, they score! <laughs> In double overtime! Back to back, the Chicago Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup! Out of nowhere, the forechecking pressure pays off. And just like that, here we are, the Con Smythe going to Maverick Bork. A Stanley Cup. It stays in Chicago. Unbelievable. Chris Ness. After the double team pressure, the confetti should be team based. The double team pressure. And they find Ness for the second year in a row. It's Alex DeBrinket raising the Stanley Cup. Can you believe it? They made us wait until double overtime. But it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. And Drew Camesso did not get to raise this last year as the starter. He is the first one to get the cup because he was insane in that overtime. Enjoy the moment, Mr. Camesso. My goodness. Next up, it's got to go to the incredible deadline acquisition of Rasmus Sandin. He was insane. We sacrifice a bit of our future with Kevin Korchinski to bring in Sandin with no regrets whatsoever. As the boys get it done again. Oh, I was going to go Maverick Bork next. It's got to be Chris Ness. It's Chris Ness. I don't even know how I didn't hand it to him faster. The man with the Stanley Cup winning goal. The Cups never look so good as it does now. Shining off of his bald head. Chris Ness. Your hero. In double overtime. To secure Chicago. Back to back. Stanley Cups. Unreal. Job done for the second year in a row. The Stanley Cup stays in Chicago. Unbelievable. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. And after that, how, how could we possibly, how could we possibly end it there?